your head, are you ever thinking, this sounded good on paper, but what am I doing here? Or is it always an just, is the adrenaline fueling you? What's it like in the moment? You know, there's a lot going on when I'm doing something like that because it's performance, I'm having to act, it's not just doing the stunts. So there's, there's so many things going on, particularly that off the cliff in Norway, where I'm concerned about if the bike gets on balance, it's going to disrupt the airflow. I have only a few seconds until I hit the ground. I have to hold as long as I can for the shot. I'm watching at the beginning the speed of my aircraft. I have a helicopter flying over. And if I go too soon or we mix up our timings, that helicopter, the downwash, can actually blow me off of the ramp. So I have to, and I have drones that I don't want them to hit me. So as I'm going down the ramp, performing, I'm also, I know the lenses, I know the speeds. Once I exit the ramp, I'm worried about, is my speed correct? Am I going to have enough to be able to fly a little bit before I open? How deep do I go into that bowl? And once I open, I want to make sure, and you can see it online, you can see when I'm testing it, I opened incorrectly and I started going toward the side of the wall in the bowl. And I, I pulled away quickly. So there's, there's a lot going on. And then I have to fly out of there. So, plus it's, it's all about cinema. It's all about story. It's, it's not just, you know, we come up with these things. And I enjoy doing them. And I train for many, many, many years. I've been training on these things. I've been driving motorcycles and cars since I was a little kid. You know, skydiving. I fly jets. I fly airplanes of all kinds. Old, old airplanes and warbirds. And, I fly jets, I fly helicopters, parachutes, speed planes. So all of these things, I'm, and I'm also looking, you know, I sing, I dance, I'm all, I, I kind of have these things and I want to apply it to my film. Is that in part two? Part two of that record? It's going to be a musical. <laughs> you heard it here. That's exclusive. So these are the things that I'm just constantly looking to increase my ability as a storyteller as, and, and what kind of skills can I improve to entertain the audience. So, but it's all about how do I engage the audience. It's the story of the Well, and one thing we haven't mentioned too much tonight is um, it's emotional. I mean, there's some sequences in this film. I'm not going to give anything away, but we talk about Rome, Venice, an amazing sequence there. I want to talk a little bit about the amazing ensemble around you. I want to talk about them too. Because, look, we have some of the, many of the returning fav favorites, obviously, Simon and Ving and Rebecca. Uh, but then you add... Kelly Atwell, who's amazing in this. Henry, as an old school Mission Impossible fan, Henry, Henry Cerny, come on. Jay Wiggum, Tarzan, Vanessa, you know, these, this cast is extraordinary. You know, Simon Pegg and Ving Rhames, what, what they can do with these characters and invest us in these stories. Rebecca, you know, Rebecca Ferguson is, she's, she's absolutely brilliant. I mean, in every way, when you're looking at it, Shea Wiggum, Tarzan Davis, who's in Top Gun, and new, Haley Atwell, Pont Clementif. You know, when you're looking at Haley Atwell, an incredible actress, uh, a real light, that actually enabled us and inspired this kind of chase in Rome. Palm Clementif, who's, you know, so magnetic, so talented. I, anywhere, you know, I love it in a movie where what we build our films for an ensemble, for that story, it's, it's, not, it's not about me, it's about the story. And to have these brilliant actors come in, and they're so committed in every way to be acting again in Henry. And you know, I feel very, very blessed. Uh, it's also obviously been a very fruitful collaboration. You and McHugh, Christopher McQuarrie, Christopher McQuarrie, 16 years. Christopher McQuarrie has had a hand in every single film that I've made over the past 16 years. He's uncredited. He, he wrote Mission Impossible, Post Protocol. He's had a hand in editing, writing, every single thing I've ever done. He is my creative. Brother. He is an exceptional human being and filmmaker, and I love him, I love his family. This is a very special moment for all of us. But there is no, yes, there is nobody that loves cinema, the movie going experience, more than you, Tom. Um, last year, you helped bring it back with Top Gun Maverick, and I know this is important to you, to see this on the big screen, with an audience, to feel that collective spirit in a the theater. Why is that so important to you, that these mission films in particular are meant for the big screen? No, I make movies for the big screen. I love that communal experience. And there's, it's, I know it's going to go to those other platforms, but it, it, there's a community that we all come from, different cultures and ways of life, and we all join together in that theater to experience cinema. And it's something that I grew up with that it, it, 
the baby and inspired me to dream and want to travel the world. My, my goal as a child, since I was little, was to make movies and travel the world. And not just be a tourist, but to work in that world and, and live there and understand their culture. And you know, you look at my movies, I've been able to have that because of everyone here that you've enabled me to, and allowed me to entertain you. And it's a privilege for me, and it's something that I have never taken for granted. And it is my, my passion making movies, it is my passion to entertain you. And I will always fight for big theaters and you know, that kind of experience for everyone. For me. You're in the theater with a giant uh, diet soda of popcorn, nachos, the works. What does the Tom Cruise experience look like on your I, I definitely have to go with the popcorn, you know, soda. I, I cheat a little bit there and have soda, you know, I'm not allowed to. My guy, I'm constantly in training, you know, but uh, I like that, you know, some candy. Uh, yeah, I like sitting back and just seeing the big screen. And just, I'm going with my hat, my glasses, and I'll take my glasses off when I'm in there. And what's wonderful is when you have a really good movie and people are invested, they see me there, and then they, then it's just, we're all in it together. I, I love that. It's the 4D experience with Tom Cruise. I, since I was a kid, I've wanted to travel the world. And what I do is, and I push the studios to send me to different countries. Not just to promote, I would go and scout, but I would watch not only my films in different countries, but I'd watch their films. So the things that I do, even when we're traveling, I work with other production companies to educate them also on how I make movies, so that they can then in turn go on and, and if they so wish, you know, use the knowledge that I've had. Because I'm fortunate, the filmmakers that I worked with, I've been making movies since I was 18, they had knowledge from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. And I have seen film develop and change, and, but it always comes down to one thing, it's the story. And it's that experience for the audience. And uh, that's what we, I try to use all my knowledge from one film to the next and, and share that with everyone. Last thing for you, Tom, I couldn't help but notice there's the part one at the end of this movie. Part one of how many? Do we have seven more Mission Impossibles? Keep going, never stop. <laughs> we'll talk to you next summer. I can't say anything about that. But we, we have already started filming a Dead Reckoning part two. I don't want to say anything about it. It's, Aircraft carriers, Spanish steps. I'll meet you anywhere, anytime, Tom. Thank you so much. These movies are amazing. Congratulations, Tom, of course. Thank you for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Cruise. Bro, thank you so much. I love you. I really love you. And it's such a. I don't want to leave this moment. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Please enjoy the film.